all right we are back 2024 is just around the corner today is the 29th i believe i'm gonna be hitting chest and back today but before i head out to the gym i just want to talk about my 2024 goals in terms of like my overall physique my overall fitness journey so overall there's two main topics and a third side topic i'm going to be talking about the first topic is obviously my workout split as you guys know i don't know how many people actually watch my videos but i'm currently running a bro split or i did a bro split for the past three weeks uh, basically i hit each muscle group one time per week with around i want to say 16 to 20 sets of volume per muscle per week and that was okay. However, I noticed that my strength gain or my, you know, my progression in the gym was kind of stagnating. It didn't feel as good as when I was doing higher frequency, like for example, on bench or lat pull downs. I noticed that if I'd hit my muscle group, if I did those exercises, sorry, once per week, the improvement did not, it just didn't seem as well, as good as it did when I was doing like those movements twice a week, for example. So when I first got back into the gym uh, back in the summer, I was actually doing a twice per week schedule for my upper body parts. And the progression was actually really good. The only thing was that a lot of it was probably muscle memory from like my past gains. So I wasn't really sure if that was actually a product of a good program for myself or whether it was just my muscle memory coming back. It was probably a combination of both to be honest. However, to start 2024, because the bro split has kind of been stagnating my progress in the gym, I'm going to be going back to a bit more frequency. So my split right now looks like Monday it's chest and back. Tuesday it's a home shoulders, or sorry, Tuesday the home arms and delts workout. Wednesday is legs. Thursday is rest. Friday is uh, chest and back again. And then Saturday is shoulders and arms. And then Sunday rest, repeat. So we're going to see if that works. I've lowered the volume per session a bit, so we're going to be doing like 16 sets, around 16 to 21 sets per, per muscle group per week. Uh, it's kind of split over each, each session, I suppose, because we're doing, twice, we're doing every muscle group twice per week in terms of upper body. For legs, we're doing around 3 to 9 sets per volume for each muscle group in the lower body. So we'll see how that goes. I'm assuming it's actually going to be better for my progression. The only thing I worry about really is like my joints, like my wrists and elbows, or my wrists especially, really start hurting if I overuse them on certain movements. I've noticed like lateral raises, uh, bench press has started to hurt my wrists a bit as well. So we'll see if the overuse or the higher frequency affects that at all, but I'm hoping it doesn't because that'd be horrible for gains. So the second topic I want to talk about today was like my body composition and like the weight goals in terms of like my body weight. So this morning I woke up at 82.3 kilograms, which is the heaviest I've been in a while, maybe in my life actually. The goal was actually 85 kilograms, but I'm not really happy with how my physique is looking. And I don't really think getting fatter from this point is gonna help me gain more muscle, if that makes sense. From what I've seen online, if you hit a certain level or threshold of body fat, it actually hinders your gains. I don't think I'm at that point yet, but I also don't wanna be at a point where I'm fatter than I should be or need to be to make muscle gains. So if I can get leaner and stay leaner while making progress in the gym, I might as well just because it looks better. Um, I'll feel better. It's better for social media. So we'll see what I do in terms of my diet. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is during my office days right now, I go into the office and around 9 a.m. I always eat a big bowl of oatmeal with two eggs. What I'm probably going to do is just cut out that big bowl of oatmeal during my office days. And then we'll see how my body reacts to that and keep my other meals the same. So it's not going to be like a crazy calorie deficit. It's just slowly tapering down the calories to see how my body reacts. Because obviously I still want to progress in the gym and I don't want to go drastically, drastically down in terms of calories. I know going drastically down is kind of trendy right now. And it makes sense if you're tracking all your macros and your protein and your intake in terms of nutrition. However, for me, I don't really do that. I kind of just intuitively eat and I eat the same things every day, which means I'm not sure if drastically going down in terms of nutrition or in terms of my macros will actually lead to me having or keeping all my muscles just because I'm not sure exactly how much protein and carbs and fats I'm intaking throughout the day, if that makes sense. So the two main things in terms of my fitness goals going to 2024 is my workout split. We're going back to higher frequency. And then the second thing is I'm probably going to try going a bit leaner in terms of my body composition and see if my progress in the gym stalls. But right now, we're gonna need some oatmeal, uh, pre-workout snack, kind of ironic because I said I'm gonna cut out oatmeal during my work days, but 
we need some oatmeal because I need to get some carbs in me before I go work out. And then we're gonna go hit some chest and back. All right, let's get back in the gym. Today is a nice chest and back day, keeping the volume a bit lower today. Due to the lower volume, we had to really make sure our sets were executed perfectly today, which I think I did a good job of. We started off with the lat pull downs. I always like starting off with a back movement in terms of a chest and back day. I feel like a vertical pull really warms up the upper body in general. I can get a good stretch on my arms, my lats, everything, and it doesn't affect my pressing strength too much, so that's that. Today our goal was to hit 245 for more than four reps. Here we are doing 245. We were actually able to get a clean five reps. It actually felt very, very light. I think the warm up today was actually really, really good in terms of getting up to my top set. I want to say I left probably a rep or maybe half a rep in reserve right here. But overall, I was very pleased with being able to do 245 for five reps. For my second back exercise and my third exercise of the workout, we moved on to some one arm cable rows. I typically do a kneeling variation where my knee is on the ground and I'm supporting myself with the bench. However, I wanted to try this where I was just sitting there like normal. And honestly, I'm still kind of in a dilemma whether I should go back to the kneeling version because the stability on the seated version was actually not too bad. For my second chest exercise of the day, we moved on to some incline barbell bench, keeping it basic, keeping it simple. We loaded up 205 on the bar and we got seven clean reps. The last rep was honestly a pretty big grinder. I'm thinking I might be able to up the weight next time because seven reps is a bit high. I do prefer staying in the four to six rep range for my top sets. As you can see here, I'm making some crazy faces trying to get that weight up and we did, thankfully. And after that, we moved on to some bent over dumbbell rows, really trying to make sure that I wasn't humping the air this time. I was keeping my hamstrings as tight as possible and you can see here my upper body is very still. I've really really been loving this exercise honestly. The range of motion is awesome. The contraction I'm able to get on my lats is great. It's overall just a great back builder. To finish off the workout we did some cable flies supersetted with pull-ups. I'm not gonna lie I didn't expect the cable flies to gas me out so much. By the time I got to pull-ups on the superset I was out of breath. So after my first set of doing the superset I gave myself a bit of rest in between the cable flies and pull-ups just to make sure that the cardiovascular requirements were not getting in the way of my pull-ups. I also somewhat changed up how I stand on my cable flies for my second set. The stability was getting a little bit annoying, so I changed my stance where my body was parallel to the ground and I was bent over. And I noticed that that variation was a lot more stable, a lot better for my chest contraction, so we will be going with that new stance in the future. Here we are supersetting my pull-ups, and you're going to see I gassed out with four pull-ups. My cardio is just very terrible. Alright, we just got home and I didn't record anything after the gym because I was so hungry so I just came home, showered real quick, made some fried rice or not, not really fried rice, sorry. It's more just ground beef and rice, uh, seasoned with salt, pepper, sriracha. I'm also going to eat it with a can of tuna. I usually would have thrown like three or four eggs in there but unfortunately I have no eggs right now so I'm going to eat it with this Korean canned tuna right here. Alright, this is the spread we're working with right now. Lacking vegetables heavily, but that's okay. Uh, let's take a quick first bite. I'm not sure how this is gonna taste, I'm not gonna lie. It might be really salty, but we'll see. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Oof. All right, let's talk about the workout today. Chest and back, a lot lower volume. I think I only did seven to eight sets per muscle group for chest and back. And it was really good. It was really good because I felt like I could really push myself all the way to failure on most of my movements. Obviously not on barbells, but for my back movements, I could go all the way to failure. And like chest flies, I could just push it all the way instead of, you know, stopping and trying to manage fatigue. It kind of just takes like that uh, need for your brain or need for that deeper thinking through your set and reps out of the equation. And you can just kind of push it all the way. That being said, it's kind of a double-edged sword because you're only doing two to three sets per exercise. And if you have a bad set, it kind of, you kind of just sit there and you're like, man, should I be doing more sets to you know get higher quality reps into the workout? But you don't want to do that because you're also you know trying to manage your fatigue at the same time. So it's kind of a double-edged sword in my opinion. If you execute your sets well, it's very good. If you don't, then you might be left wondering if you could do you could be doing more. 
That being said, um, my bench press actually went up again. So I did 245 for five reps. Very clean. I think on my last rep, I ha probably had like half a rep or maybe a full rep in reserve. So if I really, really pushed it, I might've been able to get six reps with 245. I'm not too sure, but we'll see next time how that feels. I might even try upping the weight to 255 just to see what it feels like with a heavier weight. I do enjoy doing that. I think I might be able to get maybe two to three reps with 255. So we'll see if I try pushing it next time. However, now I am home. Um, we are going to be, I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. Probably got some chores. Prepare dinner with, prepare dinner for me and my wife and then just stay home. So for my lift tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing some shoulders and arms in the gym. Um, yeah, we're gonna go in, try to hit some heavy weight on military press for shoulders. For arms, we're gonna be doing easy bar curls, you know, your usual cable extensions, whatever, whatnot. And then on Sunday, it's a rest day. I'm actually gonna be visiting family, so not gonna be able to lift. And then com coming back on Monday, we're probably gonna do another chest and back workout. So we'll see how the split goes. I'm gonna have to manage my volume because obviously I'm doing my muscle groups a lot more frequently so you don't want to kill the muscle every session because you need, you need it to recover for the next session um, but yeah other than that i hope you all have a great day i'll see you on the next video which should be tomorrow and i'll see you in the gym for shoulders and arms